evening everyone and welcome to Fisher Lux Live Draw number six, joined by me, Jacob and James. Thanks again to everyone for tuning in. Weather's getting better now, isn't it? Sunny days, still cold at night, but yeah. We've been saying on the draws, haven't we? Like when we started this, it was pitch black outside, we we're trying to get the light in right now. It's nice and sunny outside. No night fishing beach. as well, it was drab, wasn't it? Now you can go night fishing. Indeed. You can, even though you've got all your boat. If, if you've watched, if you follow Jacob on Instagram, which hopefully you do, tell us a bit about what's going on with the boat, mate. What is that? You actually haven't told me tonight. I'm asking, <laughs> I'm asking for myself as well as you guys. So, for those of you that haven't seen, me and my partner last year, we're really looking to buy a, a property and obviously in central London a flat is just a no-go so not for fishing I told my girlfriend anyway I want a boat I want a boat and I was like the whole time thinking about fishing but yeah in the end we looked and we actually found relatively cheap mooring in central London on a little nice sheltered dock nice. yeah it's super nice and yeah we bought this boat and a lot of people said it's a bit risky and we found that out we had it out the water to have a quick survey and a quick paint job and in the end we're like three four months in welding like stripping the whole thing and finally last week she went back in the water so for me now it's just like fishing 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 for the next two months but so you've probably been watching you know he's actually blagging it and you've got a fishing boat anyway <laughs> yeah i've got a little fishing boat <laughs> you've got mr boat is your name mate? yeah mate I d it's literally good boat, it? it's, good it's so fun mate like if you get a day off and you've got a little boat you can just even just not even the fishing just cruising up and down it's so relaxing yeah it's, it's super right, nice you so you're when i've seen your boat your view of um, like Canary Wharf and all that, is that the same as where your boat is now or is that from where it was out of the water? No, so luckily the um, South Dock Marina, so it's central, so literally opposite the Thames, you can see all Canary Wharf, all the backdrop and the yard is right by the side of the marina. Oh, so right. we've gone back in pretty much 50 yards from where we were out. Yeah, that's so cool. that helped us out because we did get craned in and out five times because we kept, water kept coming in and me and Stacey were broken, we were like, this is it, this is it. And luckily it was a pinhole that big. Oh, so we definitely. sealed it and now we're back in, so all good. You've yeah. not been out fishing much, have you? Nah, man, listen, I'm just working. Working, I'm working. Right now, I'm live on, <laughs> on a line, I'm working too much. No, um, I haven't been fishing. Oh, right, last time I went fishing is before the live now. And um, I was going to go fishing next week, but work's coming away again, <laughs> um, which is killing me. But um, yeah, going fishing soon, mate. Going to go in a few weeks' time. Um, but they're just not setting off yet. Like, I don't know. I'm listening to like mates who are fishing certain lakes and stuff. Actually, one of my mates today, I won't mention where he's fishing because I don't want me to, but a mate of mine, uh, Gary, has caught a lovely fish today. So th they're starting to go. Um, mm. But where I'm fishing, people are having them on zigs That's because it. it's deep, yeah. right? It's 14 foot deep. That's it. But then they ban zigs from the 1st of April, but the fish are still ziggy. Do you know what I mean? They're it, up in the layers. No everywhere the I've been, like even around the docks where my houseboat is, you can't fish, which is a nightmare. I see some of the pictures. But like all the fish at the moment, with the warm weather in the day and cold at night, I feel like the fish are just cruising round. There's like there must be Daphnia and stuff like that around. They're just yeah. cruising in that top five, just six, just chasing, and you can't really catch them a lot of the time. Nah. Zigs is the only way of catching them. But people the are having them on zigs, but like you say, like some lakes ban zigs, and and yeah, I'm. I'm actually working next week anyway, so it's a shame. I was going to go and I would have been on the deck, obviously, but um, yeah, it's coming. Isn't it? it's Listen, on. we're out night fishing. Three week, three months ago, or however long, less than three months ago, we were sitting here begging to go night, night fishing. fishing so yeah, from December one. I just like, like you, it's a bit different to the sort of fishing you do, but a lot of me and my mates, we go fishing, yet yeah, obviously want to catch fish. Right? Yeah. That's what we're there for. More of a we're social to relax lakes, as well. But you have such a laugh. Like, yeah, you want to go. Obviously, everyone fun. watching tonight goes fishing. Well, I'd have thought so because yeah. they want to fishing competition side but yeah it's like ugh, some of the boys last we've had up there like in tears that's like, what you want that's what it's hard planning. that's what i try and find the balance between like going fishing and like the chase and the hunt and you them, them fish that you really wake up and think about yeah. and then also not putting too much strain on yourself yeah, so that it's London. work yeah like you well, want it to come down to london fishing yeah, yeah you want it to be fun. Down. but actually as you can notice mr levy's not here today i think he's done a couple of stories and, and explained that he's out filming for ridge monkey Hell of a lot of filming. Everyone thinks he's got the best job in the world. Don't get me wrong, he's got an amazing job. But the guy spends a lot of time in front of the camera to give you guys all what you get to see. So he, there will be times where he's not here and he's here. But yeah, he's out there. He's doing his thing. They are filming a great escape. All I can say, it already sounds like it's going to be a wicked one to watch. So keep an eye on that. Hello, Dave. You might be watching. If you are, how are you, mate? 
um, and we will see Smash Dave it. back on the next slide. Um, so should we get yeah, into it? So for anyone who's not, just in case anyone's not been on the live stream before, we're James is going to... Hello to some people. Sorry, mate. We're going to have a little interaction with people on Facebook mm -hmm. and stuff, and then James is going to talk you through the equipment, just in case you've not been on the live stream before, and as you can see, yeah. I've got I'm gonna some... Do, so I'm looking, I'm going to say, I'm going to come on, to, I've got my phone here, look on Instagram, anyone wants to say hello, anyone wants to ask us any questions, um, let us know, come on to Instagram, or I'm looking on Instagram for now, I will go on to Facebook in a minute, um, but yeah, first of all, Instagram, you want to ask anything, say hello, me and Jacob, stand there with a the phone, fire away, ask any questions, keep it nice and uh, under 18, PG. please, PG <laughs> is the right word, isn't it? yeah, you've got kids watching and, and, have, and stuff like that, so yeah, ask away, Any, anyone wants to ask anything, or even say hello, I think we've, not, we'll crack there's on. quite a lot of comments at the start, you know, where people have said like, uh, let's have a little look, there we go, we've got... Going up, emojis in it. Carp, go. MB, yeah, emojis. You've got Hearts Carper, that's a guy called Chris. Evening, guys. Fingers crossed, everyone. Fingers crossed, Chris. Big supporter. He's been a supporter from day one. I know he has. Matt Greggs, Nash Chair for the win. Matt, Nash Chair is the first prize we're doing tonight. So have a keep an eye on that. Um, Matt Greggs, can we crack on with the draw? I'll tell you what. <laughs> Let's just crack on with Let's the draw. Let's crack on with the draw then. Let's go with what he's saying. There you go. We're boring listening to us, isn't it, really? Let's go. We're going for the draw. Let's go. All down to Matt Greggs. <laughs> right, He'll so win that. what are we going for? First of all... we First up, like James just said, we've got the Nash Indulgence Chair. So again, not something I'm fortunate enough to be able to use. But for those of you that go for the longer sessions and you like your comfort on the bank, Nash Indulgence Chair, same as the bed chairs, wicked stuff. We've missed that, and I'm going to quickly explain. We haven't explained our how to use the sorry, machines. Matt, sorry, Matt Greg. Matt, we're just, sorry. Going to, uh, <laughs> we're just going to explain the machine. So, for anyone new, Matt probably isn't new, but so we've got the number machine and the letter machine. Obviously, your ticket will have a letter and a number. We spin them together. Out will come a letter. Out will come a number. You'll see it in the cameras where Jacob's putting his finger now. And just also, we've sold a few drawers out. We sold two drawers out this time, which is great. Two have like really close to sell out, and the rest have gone well over halfway, which is great. So if there's a, so there will be ticket numbers that don't have someone who's bought them, obviously. If that happens, and if you haven't seen this before, we'll keep the letter. So if we spin it, for example, A comes out and one. There's no A one. We keep the A and we spin the number till we get a winner. Let's try and hope tonight we no, get a uh, no numbers no not drawn yet. So yeah, sorry about that, Matt. I'm now going to go back to these drawers <laughs> and we're going to start with the national He was rushing his stuff. dinner, like, just, oh, I need to make my dinner, come on. Fishing. Hope you're fishing, mate. We're, we're only joking with you. That's we, it. Um, well done, though. But, um, right. right, Nash Indulgence Chair. Indulgence please. Chair, shall we get on with it? So, A, B, C. On, Let's get the machine on to start with. You all right? Let's go. I'm going to show the And you letters. want to put in... Um, show the letters going in here. So, we've got A, B and C. A, B and C. A will go in front of the camera now. And you should see see A. There it goes. Drop her in. Fresh white kicks as well. Fifteen so pounds. Trials. Fifteen pounds from JD. James Stack walked in and he went, "What are those?" <laughs> I'm not going to tell the story of what happened to me on the train. He's going to try and make me. I literally fell out of the train getting it. But yeah, I got my, I got a new trainer. And, so. there's, and there's C. Right, A, B, and C in, and they are, yeah. <laughs> they're, be they're beautiful. Is the word I like to use. What's Can't go wrong. Fifteen pounds, mate. Listen, mate. Shall we go? <laughs> Nash indulgence this. chair. We should go for it. Let's Off go. we go. Let's go. Fisher looks trainers next. That's what we want. Little little Fisher looks. I've got a C. Forty nine over here. C forty nine for the Nash chair. We've got a winner. We're going to wait for our. Good man Connor, who's uh, we haven't introduced you to Connor yet, but we will. He's our man behind the camera, um, as well as others, including Top Guy Rick, who is the main man. Without him, we wouldn't be anywhere. So, Rick um, live, what an absolute legend! legend. <laughs> so we've got Shaney Whiting. Well done, mate. You've won yourself the Nash Indulgence Chair, so you won't have any backache anymore. It's a great chair. Well Wicked done. chair, mate. Really comfy. Again, something that I wish I could use, but yeah. Let's see what's on next. Right, numbers right, and letters. Number back in. In goes the C again. And I 
think in this drawer the letters stay the same. We just have to double check the read. Let's have a little look what we've got here. So this is the dynamite bait bundle. This is, if you don't know what this is, you'll see this appear up on your screen. This is the big pots of bait. So you've got like hemp, uh, you've got maize, tigers, tigers, mini tigers. Make dynamite particles. Good bark particles. The best. Mate. And it's in the them best. big pots, people reuse them. Yeah. Good bit of bait. If you've got a ticket for this, good luck. We're going to have a go now. Yep. Let's go. You ready, mate? I'm ready. Let's go. Same numbers and letters, yeah? Same numbers and letters, definitely. Yeah, let's go. Off we go. We got. I've got a B. What have you got, mate? B6 over here, mate. Nine. B9, look oh. at that noddy mistake. Oh. First time for everything. B9. Oh. <laughs> so, so, yeah, you can, as you can see, it's got the line you, under you, the, the bottom of the you line. You'd think I was drunk, wouldn't you? Sorry, it's them new trainers, mate. <laughs> it's me falling off the train, mate. <laughs> My head's gone. We've got a winner, we've got a winner. We've got a winner. <laughs> Jacob's on a yellow card. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sacked, that's it, I'm out. Present, Dave, we want you back again. <laughs> Who've we got? Matt Saunders, well done, Matt. All that particle coming to you, mate. Tag us in when you're catching fish on it, mate. Well done. Um, and yeah, top man, mate. Great, 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 great load of bait. I use that. I use that. Um, they've got like a milky particle. Yeah, that's it in there. It smells that's so good, mate. I Decent used to use that for years, mate. Really good. What prizes have we got up next? So, this is a bit get this back one. in. We're going to get the letter back in, put your number back in. If I can remember what the number is, apparently not. <laughs> Same, same again, same yeah, letters, A, B, C. Mate. Next up, we've got the Think and Anglers bundle, which is a pouch and a load of end tackle. I'm not going to go into it, but you've got a really good bundle there. Loads of different bits and bobs to get you started. This one sold out. Did it sell out? It yeah, this one sold out. Yes, so it, it won't did. be a redraw. We will have a winner. This is where we want to get. We want to get all these to selling them all out. Then we go weekly. And then, what well, we are talking about earlier, some of the stuff we've got coming up. Just keep your eyes peeled. Let's get on with a draw as we keep getting told. <laughs> Let's go. Got B again. I think it was B last time. 44 over here. B 44. Should have a winner because we sold it out. I hope so. We have, yeah, we've got a winner again. Thinking Anglers bundle. Quite a niche now, isn't it? Like a lot, a lot more people using thinking anglers the last couple of years. Chris Roberts. Right, I tell you what. Well done, Chris. But I'm gonna. Can we get Chris on the phone? Can we? We're gonna give Chris a ring. I tell you why. Chris has been supporting us from day one. I know that. Um, and I know he buys things every week. It'd be nice to get him on the phone. Let's see how excited he is. He's got. He's a wicked Do you reckon guy. Reckon he's on the live. I reckon he's on the live. I think he might be. Let's get him on the phone. I'm going to go and grab the phone. Jake is going to talk to you. Jake is going to talk to you about he doesn't know the difference between a six and nine. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. Explain to them about six and nine. <laughs> so while we're waiting for the number, I actually nearly missed the stop on the way here and threw my scooter off the train, smashed the charger, smashed the bearings. So uh, that's the end of that one. So yeah. James, you said he's going to buy me a new scooter, didn't yeah. you, James? When you get six and nine. <laughs> right, let's get Chris on the phone. Here we go. If you're watching, Chris, here we go. This guy. Make sure it's on loudspeaker. Oh yeah. Here's Middle one. Here it is. <laughs> How are you, Chris? It, I'm good. It's about time, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I thought, you know what? It must be your week. And um, yeah, listen, mate. Like, like like we said to you before, thanks for supporting us, mate. Um, you're welcome. It's nice. I know we know your son's won before, hasn't he? He's won. I think he's won <laughs> yeah. twice, hasn't he? Yeah. He's won twice. Well, it, was quite, it, was quite, it was quite funny. I saw your uh, post that it was nearly sold out, so I looked and grabbed actually the last three of those tickets to sell it out. Oh, there oh, you I go. Swear. They deserve to win. Uh, legend, mate. Wait for the bivvy. Come on, Jase. Put my name out for the bivvy now. Uh, let's, Imagine that. Let's wait. What? Let's wait for Chris's name to be on the bivvy. Imagine, Imagine. that. We've only had We've one had it guy before. We've had it one before. twice. Ricky, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, nice one, Chris. But yeah, buzzing, mate. We get that thinking angle sorted for you. And no, um, cheers, we might cheers. even hear your name later on. Right, dude, that's how fingers crossed. <laughs> Top man, we'll speak to you later, mate. Speak to you later, bye. Bye now, bye bye. bye, bye.
Yeah, he's a great lad, that guy. Um, and, um, and yeah, it's nice. And people, people support. We've had lots of people from day one. We've had lots of repeat winners as well. We had like we had one guy won like three weeks in a row. Yeah. We had that Ricky guy won two in a row. That was mad. Loads of winners. And then suddenly you get loads of different winners and yeah. stuff. And that's what it's about. We like hearing that people are winning. Like, we don't want people just spending loads of money and, and then not winning at all. Back. Yeah. But yeah, listen. 100%. Got to be in it to win it, like you said. Yeah. You've got the last three. I don't know if that was the last. That three. would have been like must have been five ten minutes before the cut off. No, no, no. The Thinking Angels one sold out like lunchtime. Oh, is that sold out earlier? Look at that. Keep, oh, keep dancing. Keep, keep, keep your white. Right. Cramps. What are we going on now? We are going to the Ridge Monkey Barbecue. What a great piece of kit this is. It, it is. Um, it's quite an expensive barbecue, in all fairness. Like to go out and buy, it's like I don't know how much, but it's expensive. Enough, yeah. But you can do so instead of like just doing the coal. You can add like the gas, which is a touch. Because like most barbecues, yeah. like I've been on the lake before, people going, I've got a barbecue, but I ain't gonna cold, you know. I'll yeah, like, take take Just go in the woods and start <laughs> going to bear grill. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, you can no, do the gas, you can fire pit and everything. So this is this is the first thing that sold out. So same Popular. letters, ABC, that's my side. Ridge Monkey, add D. Have you put your number back in, your number nine or six or You're four? adding D, mate. No, mate, I'm on no? the uh, barbecue. Look at ABC. me, look at me tonight, mate. Just remember, it, seven <laughs> trainers have got to your head, mate. Trainers, mate, I'm all. It's because Dave's not here, mate. Dave's not here, mate. Dave, Dave, Dave keeps make me, sure we do everything properly. Dave so. keeps me on the straight and narrow, mate. I'm We're like too wild. It's because I went fishing for the first time in like three months yesterday. And I'm, I'm still. I'm. I mean, I'm excuses, excuses, excuses. Let's go. Sorry, Rick. Let's go. Let's Off we go. Twelve. C twelve. C twelve. Well, we should have a winner because this one's sold out. We have again. Let's Wicked stuff. Is. Who have we got? We have got a. I'm gonna be cooking these hot dogs and burgers tomorrow night. Well, oh, wait, we won't get it that quick, will we? Yeah. <laughs> Next day delivery. Well, <laughs> not Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we've got soon. Nicholas Thomas. Well, well done, done Nicholas. Nick, babe. Right. Just, it's a great barbecue. That guy. If you haven't, if you haven't played before. You get a call off of me on Monday. I call all the winners on Monday. Get out the post, and you'll have that in time for next weekend. If you're Definitely, out about. yeah. Wicked, right, mate. What have we got up next, what mate? What we got up next? I'll this pop the old. We've got, got to add a letter. So I'm gonna put this one back. I've got to add the letter D. Sound As well. usual, again, if you haven't seen before, we've got all the letters in the tube that I'm just dropping on the floor here. You're going to stop that one for me on your trainers. Got letter D, we'll show you what letter's going in to keep it nice and transparent. There it is, letter D going into the machine. Let's have a look what, what we've got, got to now. Give away We've got the Ridge Monkey Power Bundle. So this is something that I need myself actually, because I'm always running out of phone battery. It's the most annoying thing out on a session. So with this one you get the power pack, you get the bivy light and you get the head torch. All really popular items and last time we sold it out straight away and this time as well. So done really well, close right. to sell out, if not full sell out. It's the new power pack, the one where you can um, charge your phone. If it charges wirelessly, you can charge it wirelessly. Oh, I do it. Mate, having all them cables on the wet floor. Yeah, you don't need it, yeah. Wicked, let's so, so let's go for that. You ready? Good luck. I'm ready. That was oh, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty-five. D thirty-five. Have we got a winner? This one didn't sell out. It was close. Yes, we got a winner from our man Connor. Yeah, and smashing Who's it out. This one, then, mate. Is it, is it a new winner? Is it someone from before? Carl Noble. Carl Noble. Well done, mate. No more Talk. dead phone for you. You got all the Ridge no Monkey Pack. <laughs> That's it. No more blinded. You can't see anything. That's it. So That's wicked, a great mate. Surprise, isn't it? Really good. Well done, Carl, mate. Well done, indeed. Nice one. Let's see what is up next. And have we got any letters? We have got, this is the Dower Crosscast Reels, and I've got to let, add the letter E. So let's get that sorted. Let's get that E out. Show the world, as they say. Through there. There we are. There we go. This is the, the Dower Crosscast Reels. So these are like, what I probably call them like a mid-range reel. Yeah. They're all black, 
And I'll tell you now, if you pick them up, I think you've, you've seen them. We've actually uh, got them in the delivery part of Atlanta. Yeah, but yeah. But we've got, um, they're just great. Like, they're wicked real. Just smart and neat. Just, just decent, nice and just yeah. nice real. Set of three. So even if you fish a lake with two rods, you've got a spare rod. Yeah. Great set of rods. Someone's going to be happier winning these. Um, you ready? Nice and simple and clean, aren't they? Yeah. Your numbers I'm, in. I'm ready. Let's go, mate. Off we go. Good luck. Here we go. A14. Have we got a winner for A14? Yes, and we again, have. And again, look Let's at that. Clean We're sweep flying. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get a clean new sweep? New set of draws? reels. Who's won a fresh set of reels? You can't beat a new set of reels in the spring. Get ready for the and summer let's ahead. See the name of the winner is. I'll let you pronounce that. <laughs> Are we there with that one? That's yeah, that's Josh Eames. Well done, Josh. Set of three reels. Mate, great prize. Haven't seen his name before, so no, it's a new winner. New Always winner. nice. Well done, mate. Well done, mate. Great Wicked stuff. What are we on to next, mate? This is... What have we got? We Del go. Kims, I believe. Let me pop Sorry. this back and then we'll have a little back. chat about the Del Kims. We've got A back and I need to get another letter involved. I need to add F into the equation. So, don't really need to waffle on too much about Del Kims. Everyone knows what Delkims are. Really popular bite alarm, been on the market for years now. And yeah, we've had have we had Delkims on before? We haven't, have we? No, we've yeah, had, we have. We've we had have. two draws of Delkims. And they went really well. We, both we joked that the picture wasn't great at this one, didn't we? But yeah. I'm just going to quickly say, I'll put an F in, F scan in there to add to the letters. Um, but yeah, we've had three, this is the third set of Delkims. Yeah. We joked that we chose the wrong picture. Which is fine. Yeah. But yeah. Live and learn. But yeah. Always drop us a message as well. Like I say, I do a few things on social media in the week and stuff and, and whatever. But anything you guys want to see from us, let us know. And obviously, we don't don't think we don't take notice. We write everything down, as you yeah. know. I'm like, um, everything's organised and everything's coming up. So if you've got a suggestion, whether it's fishing with Jacob in the middle of Thailand to, I do that. I do that yeah, happily. To Delkims, then um, just drop drop us a line. Drop us a message on Facebook or Instagram, and, uh, and yeah, it, and we'll always look at it all. Right? We're going to be growing eventually to the point where we've got loads of prizes up anyway. We won't be able to see us about prizes. Will we? <laughs> right, where yeah, are off we, we go. Where Del we are, do we? Delkims. Delkims, we're getting carried away, mate. We need Dave back. It's this sun. <laughs> drainers in my eyes. <laughs> off we go. <laughs> <laughs> A, 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 38. A38. Have we got a winner for the Delkins? Ooh. No winner. Oh, oh, winner. That's your fault. Send <laughs> them trainers again. Now, we're no clean sweep. Right, so what we, as we spoke about before, sorry if you've seen us before, but we keep the A, the number there goes into the spare tube there, Jacob, so it doesn't come out again. <laughs> we will put it back in, obviously, for the next draw. And we roll again. You roll again. I don't need to do anything, mate. Good luck. We've got 31. 31, A31. Fresh set of Del Kims. We've got a winner. We've got a winner. That's not bad. One, yeah. one reader or so, so far. So far, so fresh set of Del Kims. Who is it going to be? Rob Pleased, I believe. I'll say that some more. It could be Plested. Plested, Pleased, something, something like that. You'll know who you are. <laughs> Plested. Rob Plested. Well done, mate. Fresh Kims. set of Del Kims. You choose the colour as well. When we contact you on Monday, if you want them all green, if you want them all purple, if you want them England nice. colours today, red, nice. white and red maybe. Personalised, that's it. St George's Day. Wicked stuff. Right, last but not least, we're already at the end. A's quick. going back in. That's gone quick considering we've been waffling all right. Don't want to forget, yeah, <laughs> lovely chat. Don't forget this tube number here, so the 38 that came out. Oh yes, yes. On the first one, back show in. that in front of the camera mate. Back in yeah, goes yeah, the back 38. In, you had a 30, yeah, there's an extra one before. Got no chance of winning. Back, yeah. Uh, and we are on. So this is the biggest prize of the week. We always leave the biggest to the end, usually just because of how the letters work as well. This is for the Nash Titan Bibby, Mr. Junior Nash, I'm going to call you. Mr. Junior yeah, so. Blair. <laughs> 
This is great that you this is, is Yeah, this right is now. the T1 Bivy. Again, not something I use because as it's the more luxurious of the range, it's been on the market a couple of years now, at least I think. It's one of Nash's finest, probably most popular bivvies because you get the two man, the T2 as well. Um, but yeah, just really nice camo, all really well built, non, non condensating liner, just yeah, a really good bivvy. You probably already know, everyone who's <laughs> bought tickets, you know what you're buying tickets for. Bivvy. It's a good bivvy, good luck. I need to add the last G. letter G. Let's get involved, the show everyone G going in. There it is. Best of luck on the go. final draw. Hopefully, final draw. you've got yourself a nice bivvy. I know Chris Roberts, who won the Thinking Angus. He wants it. He wants it, Chris. Good luck, Chris. Good luck, good luck everyone. <laughs> everyone, uh, yeah. Is it going to be Chris? Let's have a go. Just imagine if it was. That would be ridiculous. It looked like a fix, wouldn't it? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, that's a nice bivvy. Mm. I've got G. Have 43. Have we got a winner? Gee, First yes. time lucky, One we've got a winner. Night. Yeah. That's mashed <laughs> it, mate. My guy. Right, who have we got on the winner for this one? Is it Chris? Is it going to be Chris Roberts? No, no it's not. It's Chris. not. It is a guy called Ian Zach. Curry, I believe. Ian Curry. Oh, we've got Just Ian. double check. I mean, he knows. Yes, we've got Ian Curry. Ian Curry. Ian Curry. Well done, Ian, mate. What prize? Should we bring him? Give him a call, why not? We'll, we'll have him, give him a call. It's we the final call. one of the you night. Can ring him. Oh, shall I go and get the phone? Well, I think he might bring the phone to you, mate. Oh, look, look, look at that, five star. Get it. <laughs> so, Jacob's, even from here, those trainers are like blinding me. I'm coming on next week with a big set of glasses. Before you can bring, <laughs> bring your Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get Ian on the phone. Ian, if you're watching, we're just about to ring you. Um, and if you're not watching, we've had some before where. They've not been watching, they didn't have a clue. And you're like, by the way. Hello. Hi, mate. This is Jacob calling from Fisherlux. Hello, mate. How are you doing? Not bad, mate. You? Yeah, good now. Are you, are you, are you watching then, yeah? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. oh, we thought we'd caught you off guard. Well done, mate. No, thank you very much. Wicked Bivy. Ah, what a great Bivy. Yeah, you've got that ready for the spring, mate. And that will be sent out to you first thing Monday. So James will be yeah, in we'll touch. Give you a call. We'll give you a call, mate. Yeah. But yeah, buzzing. Did you enter any of the other draws in or just that one? No, no, just that one, funny enough. Oh, bit of luck, innit? Soul. Well, that is it. I'm a bit of a Nash talk. Oh. Love the Nash. Well, you're, like, you're like Jacob then. <laughs> Mr. Nash here. Is, um, are you, um, is it the first time you've played with us or you played before? Or? No, no, I've done a couple of before. Oh, wicked. So you got a night. That's a great prize. Yeah, thank you very much. Well, nice done, one, brother. We'll, we'll give you a call Monday. We'll get it all sorted for you, mate, and you should have it by like literally this time next week, mate. So we'll speak to you then. Lovely. All the best, mate. Well nice done, one. Mate. Have a good evening. Have a good weekend. See you later. Bye, mate. Go on. We're kids. Entered one, one, one. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Loves it. Well done, Ian. Loves the Nash stuff. So, like, like we're saying, going back to like asking about prizes. Certain people like Nash, like certain people like Fox, Bridge Monkey, Corder, yeah. Delkins, Thinking Anglers. That is it, mate. So, number draw done. Draw six over and out. We've um. One redraw, that's all we had. One, we're getting there. Happy with that? No, it's still good. So, two things. One is, all the winners, we'll give you a call. Obviously, we spoke to two on the phone already, but Monday, we'll give you a call Monday. We'll organise it all with you. If, for example, you've got the Delkins, we sort the colours. That is how we work over here. We get it out to you quick. We've got the stock in our hand. We don't get, I'll tell you one thing, and we have to send it three months later. We've got everything. We've got it now. ready to go. We've bought it already. Um, other thing is, all the new prizes are on the website. Get yourself involved, they've gone live. There's a couple of new ones on there. One of them we've gone for like, what you, we, we asked you guys about your higher price tickets um, with less odds. There's a prize on there. It's a, hot, a lot higher price, there's only 50 tickets. So odds are in your favor win, massively. Yeah. We just wanted to try it, see if you guys like it. Let us know, do you think that's too expensive or do you like the idea that you're paying more but you're getting better odds? Let us know, drop us an Instagram message, Facebook, whatever so if you're out fishing tonight best of luck. luck if you're out for Stay the weekend warm. even more luck and yet again thanks to everyone for tuning in like james said we want to do what well if you guys have got any suggestions for prizes we just want to keep growing and bringing things that you guys want to win the most but yeah as always thanks for joining and we'll see you next time won't we see you next time you catch any fish this weekend tag us in send it the pictures yeah, yeah, we'll we, share, we love sharing we had loads last week good luck all the best Take guys care. thanks for watching see, see you later. all soon